In terms of the process for getting this job, Jonas, what have the past couple of months looked like for you? Uh, well, well, I've been working as a head coach for, for my team here in Sweden, FC, FC Usengod. Uh, but uh, then I basically, from meeting the recruitment firm, uh, been meeting all the decision makers at, uh, at Arsenal Women. Uh, I've been spoken to, to Claire Wheatley about... Uh, about the team and, and the vision and where we want to be. Uh, but I also had uh, good and interesting uh, discussions with, uh, with Edu, the technical director of the club, uh, with Richard Garlick, the director of football operations, and, and also with Bine, the CEO. So, so I feel like it's, it's just not only a women's department, it's a whole club uh, going behind this uh, vision. And that has really excited me and strengthened my belief that uh, this would be the right club and project for me. Absolutely. And, and you're still in Sweden at this moment in time, but you'll be over here in North London very soon. With that in mind, what are your top priorities during pre-season? It's a pretty short pre-season uh, for, for a numerous of reasons, but um, we, we, we're going to play the, the first rounds of the UEFA Women's Champions League qualifiers, and that's already in mid-August. And, uh, and after that, <laughs> there is a really, really congested schedule where we're going to play in in, in many different competitions. So, uh, so for us, we, we need to make sure that we, uh, we have players that can handle that playing load uh, that that uh, schedule would mean to us. And uh, we will have some players here now at our disposal already right from the beginning. And uh, of course, we will both get them into our playing style and the, the physical um, demands that that will put into them. But then we also have a lot of players going to play Olympics for the national teams and they will, they will need to handle separately and individually. Uh, so we make sure that both they can come back in a good shape, but also that they can stay in a good shape uh, when they return back to us as a club. So um, that would basically be the main focus. And uh, then I think it would be important that we just put the uh, most important strategies uh, first at pitch and um, then, then we need to work with the rest of, of them as the season progresses. Uh, we're not going to do everything here in, in just two or three weeks time, uh, but we need to do enough and we need to be competitive right from the start, but then we need to grow from there on and we need to grow all the way during the season. Oh, it's safe to say that our fans have been eagerly awaiting this news. So what is your message to the Gooners worldwide ahead of pre-season and ahead of your first season as the head coach of Arsenal Women? It is that we're going to be really ambitious uh, with the season. Uh, and uh, it's uh, what does that mean? It means for me that we, we're going to compete in all the competitions that we take part of. We're going to compete in the UEFA Women's Champions League uh, to do our very best to reach the final. Uh, we're going to compete in the league. We're going to compete in the domestic cups. And uh, we're going to do it our way. Uh, we, uh, we're gonna, we have something good uh, within this team. Uh, at best of times, they played brilliant football. Uh, we're going to continue to do that. Uh, we need to do a small, small changes uh, in order for us to, uh, to start performing a little bit better and beating uh, the top teams uh, when we play them. The investments that are currently being made in the, in the women's team uh, to, to strengthen our staff and to strengthen our structure around the team. Uh, I'm so excited about that. Uh, and it's definitely going to give us uh, all the tools that we need uh, to deliver results in, in the competitions we take part in.